the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Are we together now? Yes. direction john chapter 11 from verse 9 and 10 john chapter 11 from verse 9 and 10 jesus answered are there not 12 hours in a day if any man walk in the day he said he stumbleth not why because he seeth the light of this world verse 10 it says but if a man walk in the night why will that man stumble because there is no light in him there is no light in him that means those who downplay the place of light because it is night oh the world that we're living in right now is dark painfully dark marvelous light means access to direction by the word of god telling you what to do in a way that produces wonderful results in your life May that be your testimony in the name of Jesus. Number five, very quickly. Marvelous light means life. Oh, this is a powerful one. This is a powerful one. You need to hear this because your life depends on it. Marvelous light means access to life. John 1, 4. John 1, 4. In him was life. He said that life was the light of men. That means there is a relationship between light and life. Jesus, the light of the world in John 10, 10 said, I am come. I am come. This is why the light came. So that you might have life. Light did not just come so that you may see. So that you may have life. And that you will have it more abundantly light is very important and life is important we have so many series we have so many teachings to deal with um this year by the grace of god and one of it we are going to be examining the concept of life not life as living but the bible says if that same spirit that raised christ from the dead dwells in your mortal body you see it tells you that there there is something there is an administration of life that happens to you by reason of passing through the womb of a woman and having blood the life of the flesh is in the blood but that there is a kind of life that comes to you not just because of the blood that you carry but by reason of the living spirit of god that lives within you are we together now and this was adumbrated and demonstrated in the life of jesus himself he had drained his own blood the bible says and took it to perform his high priestly duty yet he resurrected with another life there was no blood and the bible says as my father has sent me you see that now he said so send i you there is a kind of life that he has given because let me tell you this i don't mean to scare you i'm speaking to a global audience but you see this pandemic and many other things i'm not you you would not find me just stand and give prophecies but believe me when i tell you this what you see is not all that will happen you just take what i'm telling you as from god you will need more than a vaccine more than some treatment you will need to have a revelation of another administration of life working within you believe me 
these are days where you cannot pretend that you know this thing the environment will test you marvelous light means access to superior life now it has become a pentecostal cliche when we talk about the life of god dwelling within a man you know it just becomes oh these are no it is true don't feel bad that you may not have attained unto it experientially it still does not matter the spirit of the living god representing the life of god when he indwells the believer there is something there is a reaction that happens by reason of the presence of the spirit that affects your body the presence of the holy spirit does not just affect your spirit alone your mind alone it translates to your body is that true they are alive to those who find them and to their flesh their flesh we have to know this so that people don't just walk around and die just because you can breathe you will need to show the excellency of your connection with the spirit of life this happened as we know historically in spokane during the days of john g lake that when the plague was killing people it was destroying people that man seemed to be invincible and immune to that plague and when they found out that he understood that god dwells in me god dwells in me this is not just empty bragging that causes casualties is a revelation from heaven life number two there are things about life that you have to believe listen the bible says we have been raised up with christ and we have been made to sit with him far above principalities powers when you believe this you can convince yourself that no enchantment and no divination whether it is through the water you drink look at this watch this i i don't mean again to scare you but someone concocts a charm and drops it and you come and match it moving innocently that charm does not just affect your spirit your physical leg that did not believe in the charm starts swelling you never confess that i received the charm yet the charm is working are you seeing that now someone comes close to you and maybe has a flu just ordinary flu and he comes close to you he does not ask you whether you want it he just came close to you you didn't see anything happening yet one or two days later you find out that you also have a flu there are diseases called communicable diseases science knows that far that you can transfer things even beyond the realm of sight is that true these are the days when there will be a kind of people on earth believe me when i tell you this there is the workings of the spirit from within us that will demonstrate the excellency of the power of god that one day people will ask you how are you outsourcing your health and your life and you will tell them now there are a group of people i'm not by any means promoting this or creating anything but i learned that there are a group of people called breatharians and some of them have have lived for 10 20 15 years without food they believe that they are taught some way of absorbing energy into their body and i mean i've watched videos on that literally they have conquered food and hunger and all of that at best they just live off water for 10 years 15 years and all of that now i'm saying these are people who are not born again yet they have tapped into the vastness of the potential of a human body life so that by reason of the high level spiritual illumination that we have
medical people are here and i may be wrong but i know that there is something called physiotherapy am i right that one of the ways that you deal with ill health and and viruses am i right on that i hope i don't say what is wrong you can administer light and it can correct an anomaly in the human body science knows that that there is a relationship between light and health and life man shall not live by bread alone but by every word by every light the entrance of thy word giveth light the entrance of food gives vitamins minerals if you eat rice is it the rice you really need there is the nutrients from it so if you eat scripture what really happens because the bible tells us that both of them can do something to you hmm. believers let's not toy with our life literally in the days that we live in you see that there are all kinds of mysterious sicknesses and wicked spirits have complicated it so people do not even know which one is medical again and which one is demonic there are people who can have a legitimate medical condition as soon as that one is over demons just cash in on the pain and continue pain that you know that this one now is no longer medical if that same spirit that raised christ from the dead dwells in your mortal body that that spirit can quicken your mortal body men of god if you're a man of god here you have to know this otherwise the burden of ministry will kill you you can you can't hide this thing because the energy will be dissipated people are seeing it can i tell you this i didn't i didn't come to the earth by mistake i will never live by mistake this is this is my covenant with god my parents have never told me that i arrived by mistake there is no power in existence that sustains the ability to separate my spirit from my body out of my cooperation no you have to choose what to believe otherwise anything will just sweep you like that and declare it over yourself by light i i administer life i decree and declare life and longevity and abundance please declare it not the arrows that fly by day not the noisome pestilence not enchantments and wickedness no exalted above principalities above powers above the ill speakings of darkness hallelujah let me tell you this and i i don't mean to sound arrogant and i sincerely apologize but believe me when i tell you if i were lying about what i'm teaching you it would have shown i have prayed for too many people with situations that you are not even supposed to come near them believe me there are suicidal things you don't try except you know what you are standing on hallelujah i remember years ago a family wanted to destroy i think some charms that you know because the person to inherit the the thing was not interested so and there is a consequence for not being interested you know what i'm talking about if it's your turn and you dare make up your mind that you are not interested there are there are there are side effects and so when they brought it they were they put it in a leather i did it i said open it let me see and they were afraid for me i said ah afraid for me when i held it i looked at it 
these things were all elements of the earth the blood there is it not a, 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 a maybe chicken or goat or whatever it is the coffin that was there and all the things all those enchantments when i held them i said look let me tell you something these things don't just work anyhow there is a condition that makes even jesus knocked on my heart to enter why should something enter without knocking it's, believe believe what i'm telling you I'm not glorifying Satan, but I'm, I'm demystifying some of these things. The person talking to you is not stupid. Believe me, by reason of what I, I do, I have, I've seen all kinds of things. Life. Life. You think it's the devil's plan for me to be alive now? There are people Satan does not want pain for them. He wants them to die. Because even if they are in pain, it's still a, a disadvantage. The fact that they are alive. Ah. Listen to me. Some of you are even afraid for me. Apostle, don't talk like this. <laughs> Say in the name of Jesus. The life of God is at work in me. Say in the name of Jesus, the life of God is at work in me. The Bible describes the believer and he says that even when they take poison, you see that? He didn't say they will go and look for poison and take it. But that when they take poison, it is only when we get to heaven that we will know what we have eaten in this life and the things that we enjoyed that were supposed to kill us hmm. this is what i believe it is it is my it is my conviction i do not believe that any mortal man born of a woman can take my life i truly do not believe it if that same spirit that raised christ from the dead dwells in your mortal body this is the year when you have to believe don't take the risk of just living in an evil world like this without knowing these things it will cost you more than you can imagine are we together now man of god you can't be traveling from region to region preaching jesus healing the sick and not know what you are standing on the devil will not watch you raise people from wheelchair and captivities over people's lives and not want to take your own life but jesus said no man taketh it from me he said i have the power to lay it down no man taketh it from me the part of scripture you believe is the part that works for you this is why laziness in studying the word of god is you're agreeing with death among other spirits to destroy you hallelujah are we learning life john 8 12 john 8 12 let's hurry up we have to pray john chapter 8 and verse 12 then spake jesus again unto them saying i am the light of the world he that followeth me shall not walk in darkness please help me read it but shall have the light of life there is light that produces life but shall have the light of life number five marvelous light means supernatural empowerment listen let me tell you believers we are in the days of his power we really truly are in the days of his power a demonstration of the authority and the power of the kingdom in a dimension that will dumbfound principalities and powers and that happens by light 
supernatural empowerment happening at the instance of light it takes light to reign it takes light to exert dominion are we together now jesus said behold i give you power the greek word is exousia authority over snakes and scorpions and over every power of the enemy and he says nothing shall by any means is what you should pay attention to you have to find out the means satan has bloodline is a means your ignorance is a means and yet the bible still says that you are so fortified that if you have the understanding nothing shall by any means hurt you i give you authority the word power there does not just it's not dunamis it is authority the power that comes by reason of knowledge because the bible says an heir for as long as he's a child he differed not from a slave even though he be lord of all so this is the kind this is the kind of of authority that is demonstrated on account of light to trample upon snakes trample upon scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you are we together we need power we have a lot of teachings along that line but you need to manifest the power of the holy spirit and manifest kingdom authority in truth kingdom authority in truth marvelous light means a season of showing forth a season of unveiling a season of exploits that is the sixth now showing forth isaiah chapter 60 and verse 1 arise shine how many of you know those are two instructions you can arise and remain there he says arise then he says shine i will tell you how to shine to arise is one thing but to shine is another arise and shine and both of them will happen because your light is come the same light that makes you arise is the same light that can make you shine and the glory of the lord is risen upon you he says for darkness shall cover the earth gross darkness the people he says but the lord shall arise upon thee and his glory shall be seen upon thee ephesians chapter 5 and verse 13 ephesians 5 13 the bible says but all things that are reproved are made manifest by the light for whatsoever doth make manifest is light that means in this season god is going to be unveiling things secrets that have kept families down secrets that have the, the puzzles and mysteries that looks like what is them what is the mystery behind this the bible says anything that can make manifest is light the strength of darkness is secrecy and mysticism you do not understand it but light comes to make manifest lord why don't we rise in this family what is it about this ministry that it does not grow what is it about my influence your call your grace upon my life and light comes when light comes that which is hidden is made manifest are you learning now this is very powerful so marvelous light means all of this insight and illumination understanding direction and end to confusion life and then supernatural empowerment very quickly let me run through 
a few requirements as you know everything in the kingdom has demands or requirements are we together it is not all up to god and it is not all up to the saint in christ there is always a participatory requirement now please pay attention this is the role you have to play in making this year become for you in reality the year of marvelous light number one you must cultivate a passion and a thirst for knowledge i wrote it down here you must cultivate a passion and a thirst for knowledge knowledge would not just come and meet you you have to pursue with passion don't forbear with ignorance this year make up your mind i'm tired of this generational ignorance i'm tired of this limitation absence of light and you pursue it diligently and the bible says for everyone that seeketh, everyone that asketh receiveth everyone that seeketh findeth and to him that knocks he says the door shall be open say amen. amen so you must cultivate a passion and a thirst for knowledge number two i wrote down here that you must be teachable you must be meek james 1 21 if it will be your year of marvelous light then you must be teachable wherefore lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness and receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your soul say meekness can i tell you this meekness is a posture you put yourself in a position where you are passionate about knowing what you do not know and when you find an opportunity to know it you drop away a mentality we call in this side of africa called an i too know mentality those who believe they know everything are the ones who don't know anything you easily know those who know by their passion to know more are we together now what will the word of god be doing in the temple the word of god yet at age 12 he was in the temple learning under people he would one day save Are we together now listen you must cultivate passion for knowledge don't come to church don't come to the house of god this year hoping to learn one thing or the other no no you must come intentional ready to receive ready to damage every level of ignorance that you find don't forbear with ignorance don't forbear with darkness have the meekness to learn number three this is very important you must be determined to see the light of god manifest in every area of darkness in your life you must be determined to see the light of god manifest in every area of darkness in your life that means it is your responsibility under god to list the several areas of your life where you desire to see the light and the power of god and begin to probe them one by one the bible says there was this man called naaman he was a mighty man a captain of the syrian army the bible says he was a valiant man in war but he was leprous are we together now yes this is the year where when god shows you mercy in an area you pat your back in that area but you turn and begin to say lord thank you for these areas but here 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 and you stay with god until your joy is complete somebody say my joy must be complete this year one more time say my joy must be complete you can choose whatever year but the word is for this year so if you if you want it before you see jesus someday save johnny your faith can take you there but there are people who are insisting that this year this year are we to you must be determined can i tell you this engage the word in every area of your life 
every area number four very quickly you must be committed to the gathering of the saints like never before this is one demand you must be committed to the gathering of the saints like never before very popular scripture psalm 73 and verse 17 psalm 73 and verse 17 let's hurry up until i went into the sanctuary of god then understood i that level of understanding only happened when i went into the sanctuary of god there is a level of understanding that cannot happen to you just in your private quiet time your place there there is a level of light and illumination that happens when we come together as a family of faith are we learning now you must discipline yourself this year and fight any kind of spiritual laziness and laxity i was glad not i dragged myself i was glad when they said unto me let us go to the house of the lord hallelujah it is very very important you must be committed you must be committed to the gathering of the saints number five this looks like a simple one but it is one of the major keys major keys as far as walking in the reality of marvelous light is concerned you must be committed to speaking the word of god all through this year now light shines in this kingdom when we command it to second corinthians chapter 4 and verse 6 light does not just shine it says for god who commanded the lights to do what so how does light shine for you you command it to shine that's how god come he, he didn't say god who wanted light to shine god when it has to do with shining you don't wish shining you command shining for god who commanded the light to shine God who commanded the light to shine. God who commanded the light to shine. Light be. Light be. God who commanded the light to shine. Light be. This is the year when creation must hear your voice. Listen, this is not the year to be silent. This is not the year. Pray for me. Pray for me, apostle. I will pray for you, but you must get up and say in the name of Jesus. January, hear the word of the Lord. I command light. You change that light to anything light can give. God, who commanded light to shine. I love scripture. It would have just said God had shined in their hearts. But he said, God, this man who commands light to shine. So if your light is not shining, could it be that the light is waiting for an instruction? Waiting for an instruction. In the name of Jesus, my tomorrow I speak to you. You can prepare a triumphant entry for your destiny. And while you are saying it, let me tell you this. Satan is the master of the flesh realm. He will say, did you not speak like this in 2021? What happened? Master, we have toiled all night, remember? He said, nevertheless. Next time the voice of doubt comes, say, nevertheless. 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 In the name of Jesus. Oh, ministry did not rise. Nevertheless. You kept speaking but went down in business. Nevertheless. God who commanded light can I tell you this truly I want you to believe this if you keep quiet I've taught you this one of the assignments of the spirit of depression is to bring you to a point of silence 
where your brain keeps wishing for many things that never happen let the redeemed of the lord say so if jesus died without speaking that he will come back to life he would have been surprised jesus did not just resurrect because the holy ghost came to resurrect him he sent a word into his third day to wait for him there don't enter into a day that you have not spoken into hear me the bible says this is the day the lord has made and the bible already tell you how god makes things genesis 1 that means there should not be anything in that day if the lord made the day anything he made in genesis 1 was good but the bible lets us know that satan also stands at the corridor of every new day and waits to be able to sow all kinds of things this is the year to declare lord we hear that there will be sounds of mourning we hear that there will be sounds of of lack economic meltdown and all of that but in the name of jesus i create my reality the same way there was egypt and goshen i stand by the power of the holy spirit i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead don't be too big to speak even god spoke listen listen to me when you get up in the morning train yourself to stop this complaining and these lamentations you get up in the morning and you're already angry oh this day again you check your text messages you check your the news in nigeria and they say just to let you know that <laughs> you know what is going on naira has gone down this one has gone down and you watch and say just to let you know and somebody just calls you and said look just to let you know i lost my job you get up under that kind of climate the spirit of depression exactly what is waiting for but for someone you lay your hands on your head and say in the name of jesus i have the power to choose meaning i can reject and anything that does not line up with the word of god i reject it can i tell you this when there was famine in samaria there were two people who the famine did not affect one was the king the other was the prophet elisha did not look like he was a hungry person moving around no he came to comfort two women who were eating their children you first have to enjoy salvation to be a savior are we together now you can't help somebody who is suffering when you are like them So that god will sort your life so that you can now become a blessing to many when they are saying oh there's no rice there's no this the market food is gone all of a sudden they see a kingdom ambassador you are distributing food as if you are holding a charm on your hand and people say come oh i more than the food what is happening to you and you tell them i've been exalted there is something he did to me make up your mind that you are going to speak the word of god make up your mind don't be silent believe me you get up in the morning father thank you for this day i decree and declare i am blessed you are on a journey don't just wait you already know that there are arrows that fly by day and in our world now there are arrows that walk by day they don't even fly there are wicked people they are not just holding arrows they are the arrows themselves i know a bit about presidential or priority envoys when 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 a priority individual is about to pass a road within a reasonable vicinity around the distance there is there is an intelligent system of of gauging the safety of that place are they not ministering spirits listen don't feel bad that okay something happened your loved one was kidnapped i want you to grow spiritually make up your mind lord if it will crash i won't enter 
but if i enter it won't crash yes sir yes sir yes sir can i tell you if jesus kept quiet over that boat he would have been surprised what would happen it's a fish that would have swallowed him like jonah and kept him at the base of it jesus did not just stand and say don't worry it's all right i'm here he said peace be still when you see storms arising your children just come it looks like they are sick you are hearing an evil report from the place of work that they are going to downsize people because it's 2022 when all that noise is around you hush them peace be still peace be still peace be still peace be still in the name of jesus marvelous light peace be still listen listen to me there are many of you who are saying apostle god has told me so many things but how will the help come how will i be able to do the things i'm doing january can become the same as last year's own if you keep quiet just because a prophetic word is before you does not mean anything will change you have to engage it with understanding hallelujah when god gave this word i took it as a personal word for myself first flogged it out with destiny before coming out here light light lord this generational poverty that will not let my family go we want to serve you but this thing is keeping us distracting us and not giving us room to serve you you want to pray you just think of money you want to fast you are thinking of money lord end this grant me rest and you begin to pray and speak i don't know what to do but start by speaking it is in speaking direction comes hallelujah i came here to charge you we are going to pray dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye Pray, pray, pray for your destiny. Salaska de Bashka Nakata Branda Katekatos. Kate Branda Katapa Kotosko to break a take and a The face of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.